learned how to be a better person at 50 years old. My I'm, I'm trying. A landmark day. And somebody who always makes this show better joins us right now. That's AEW owner and president, Mr. Tony Khan, joins us. Tony, good morning to you, and thanks, as always, for the time. Good morning to you, Dave. Good morning, Tommy. Thanks for having me on the show. What up? Uh, we're excited. Loaded, loaded dynamite tonight going yeah. into Forbidden Door. We're talking about super cards this entire show, and you're giving us a, a preview of a super card uh, tonight. Well, I think it's a preview of a super card, and tonight's show is a super card unto itself. It's going to be a great night, a lot of great matches, great moments, a very memorable evening, and uh, I'm really excited. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, great things going into the Forbidden Door. You, you're both big wrestling fans, talking about super cards. You know how hard it is to put together something interpromotional with two companies working together, trying to get all their stars in the same place. It's hard, and I think as we get closer and closer to Forbidden Door, the stars are aligning, and it should be a big night on TBS tonight on Dynamite. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And, Tony, this is, you know, one of those opportunities that I always try to take when talking to you about thanking you. Because as a hardcore wrestling fan, as we are talking about all show long leading up to this interview, Tony, it's about our favorite shows, super cards. And that's what we're going to see on Sunday here, uh, this Forbidden Door pay-per-view with AEW and New Japan. Um, a healthy relationship between the two companies, and it shows with the card that you put together for Sunday. Yeah, it's going to be a great wrestling event. And it's going to start with the IWGP champion, Jay White, coming in tonight. Uh, and we're going to find out who he's going to wrestle. We know that we've got the AEW Interim World Championship on the line with John Moxley versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Big matches, big championship bouts, and we've got a great card announced already, and we're going to announce more matches tonight on Dynamite for this big event. And I'm really excited. I think uh, what we've got announced is big, but there's going to be some more uh, big announcements tonight on Dynamite and a lot of, like I said, big moments, big matches, and a big fight feel going into this really big event on Sunday on pay-per-view. One of my favorite debuts, kind of, sort of, was when Jay White showed up. And this is why I love wrestling so, so much. And, and I've told him this. When we saw his jacket and the place pops and they do all the damage, it was on a, an interview. And then all of a sudden, when he turned around, the place was like a double pop. Even though, like, it's like we knew it was him, but oh my God, it really is him. And mm. it reminded me back in the day of the Attitude Era of when we used to love and react to what we were seeing behind the scenes. And that's why I enjoy AEW so much for moments like that where not everything is an in-ring, not everything was that. And when he did that, I was like, this is why this place is so different and special. And, you know, even for... Everyone says, well, he's not so known on a worldwide audience. There's your proof that he is. And, you know, I, I just that was one of my favorite of many AEW moments, but it was just so big. It's a double pop for free. And it was just awesome. Thank you for saying that. Uh, it was great when he first arrived and he's been on fire since then and gone to Japan and won the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Tonight, we're going to find out who he's going to defend it against. I'm really excited for that match and uh, excited to find out what's next for Jay White. I think the fans have a lot to look forward to tonight on Wednesday Night Dynamite on TBS. What a main event match tonight on Dynamite. Big preview. We spoke about the AEW Interim World Championship briefly, and really we've been talking about it a lot You know, in my, my prior appearances, and I know you guys have spent some time on it, and really – it's a match that's been building for years between Hiroshi Tanahashi and John Moxley, a major rivalry with stakes now even higher with the AEW Interim World Championship on the line. And, and it's one of those matches that are very rare in pro wrestling, Tony. And what I mean by that is I don't know who to root for. Because Moxley has kind of been somebody that obviously the AEW fan base has gotten behind ever since he debuted. 
Tanahashi, as I said to you on this show many times, to me, one of the top ten pro wrestlers of all time. This is going to be a very special matchup on Sunday. It's going to be a very special matchup. You know, a year ago at this time, this match was really starting to heat up. It looked like we were going to see Moxley versus Tanahashi a year ago. Like a lot of dream matches in sports, like a lot of big prize fights, this is one of those ones the fighters have been chasing. And sometimes the politics of sports, the politics of fighting, prevent these big matches. And this is one of those times where the companies have come together, the fighters have come together to make it happen. And this is going to be a huge main event match on Sunday, Moxley versus Tanahashi. And tonight on Wednesday Night Dynamite, you get to see these two team up for the first time ever, Moxley and Tanahashi mm. teaming up on TV, coming together, getting Tanahashi's debut in AEW tonight on Dynamite against Chris Jericho and Lance Archer, which is a symbolic partnership representing Jericho and his sports entertainers working together with Suzuki Goon from New Japan. And uh, we'll, we'll see Jericho and Suzuki teaming up in a trios match with Sammy Guevara on Sunday against Eddie Kingston and both of John Moxley's two protégés, Shota and Yuta. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited for that match, and, and we get a little bit of a sneak preview of both matches tonight on Wednesday Night Dynamite. Um, with... For Dave and I, we always talk about the little things and when it's also connective tissue of why people are fighting. And again, this goes back to the mission statement of AEW with one wins and losses matter, which means the world title is the most important thing in AEW. And what I loved about how the connective tissue Jericho comes and interrupts Anahashi and Moxley. And straight up, because he's the biggest star in Jericho's head, and says, the reason why I'm not in this match and you stole my spotlight because I wasn't here. And then it all made such great sense. And then here comes Lance Archer. Just those little, little things mean so much. And like when I first saw Jericho, I was like, oh, my God, is this going to be a three-way? But no, wait, isn't Jericho involved in the match? But it all made sense, and that's what I truly love about the little things. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, it's the little things that lead to the big moments, the big matches. And there are a lot of big fights coming up tonight on Wednesday Night Dynamite. And uh, as Tommy said, there's connective tissue tying them to what's happening on Sunday at the Forbidden Door pay-per-view. We're also coming up one week away from AEW Blood and Guts. Yeah. One of our biggest shows. And with Blood and Guts next week, again, some of these things tying together, the, the hatred between Jericho Appreciation Society and the Blackpool Combat Club, along with Eddie Kingston, uh, that Blood and Guts match is going to be huge. And tonight on AEW Dynamite, one of the all-time great pro wrestlers, one of our great AEW stars, Brian Danielson, will be on the show. He's going to address both his big match at Forbidden Door that he's been challenged to by Zack Sabre Jr. And this blood and guts match on the table. Uh, Really looking forward to hearing from Brian Danielson about this weekend and next week on blood and guts and uh, what he has to say, which I will leave to him. Uh, It's big night. Like I said, a lot of big moments, big announcements tonight on dynamite and and big matchups. In addition to what we spoke about with, that real dream tag match with Moxley and Tanahashi, the rival teaming up to take on Jericho and Archer. Also, I'm really excited to have the All-Atlantic qualifying match. We've got the last qualifier for the four-way final at the pay-per-view on Sunday. We already know Tomohiro Ishii is going to represent New Japan Pro Wrestling. Miro is in the field. Pac is in the field. And now we'll find out if the fourth man in the field is going to be Penta or is it going to be Malachi Black, one-on-one, two wrestlers who know each other really well. And they've been in some great, great matches going one-on-one tonight now, Penta versus Malachi on Dynamite on TBS Tonight Live. That's awesome. Because because of your Tony brain, our upcoming uh, master's class is going to be we have to put together our own Forbidden Door type of show. And one of the themes is a show stealer. And 
literally Penta versus uh, Malachi, Malachi Black is a show stealer. Yep. Tonight, I think they can steal the show, and only one man can advance to that four-way final. I'm very excited about it, and it's, that's another match that I think we'll have an opportunity to steal the show. Whoever wins tonight's match on Dynamite, Penta versus Malachi, they're entering a loaded field for that All-Atlantic Championship. I think it's going to be a great match, and it's going to be emblematic of what the championship will represent. Great wrestlers from all over the world coming to fight for that All-Atlantic Championship. Not only uh, fighters from the All-Atlantic region, but, but people from all over the world, including the Pacific, like New Japan Pro Wrestling. Uh, I joked with Tony Schiavone this week. He's an expert in the Mid-Atlantic, and we're yeah. covering now even more ground than that with the All-Atlantic Championship representing the United States, Canada, and all these great countries in Europe, as well as all the fighters who come from all over the world to fight for the championship. So I'm excited tonight for that qualifier, and uh, that match in and of itself, like you said, Tommy, could steal the show tonight. And really, there will be a lot of things on the show that I'm very excited for. One of them, following up on last week, we saw a new world tag team champions, the Young Bucks. Yep. And it was just a classic, classic ladder match. I thought it was one of the best matches we've ever had on the show, and a lot of people agreed with that. And after the match, what was maybe even more surprising than the, the title change, the end of this great reign of Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, who've had some classic matches along the way as champions. And for Christian Cage... Uh, to do what he did to Jungle Boy, turn on his longtime protege, beat him up in front of his family. It was just really, really a terrible thing. It was shocking to the fans. And tonight on Dynamite, we're going to hear from Christian Cage. Uh, and I really hope he can explain why he did what he did to Jungle Boy and what's next for Christian Cage. Uh, and I know the AEW fans are looking forward to hearing what the next chapter is for Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus after that match and after Christian's real shocking betrayal. Well, I got to tell you, um, and I know you're busy. You got a lot of things on your plate. You should have come to me first or Mark Henry or Regal or Jericho, because we would all tell you one of the greatest wrestlers of all time is Christian. However, we will all say Christian is a dick. And wow. I knew he was going to do this. And oh, it gets me so pissed because I love Jungle Boy. And then in front of his mom, too, he needs his ass kicked. <laughs> well, you know what? You know uh, he's a dick. You just can't right. say it. All would have been right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I, and, Tony, this is why I love watching AEW. This really started over a year ago because you talked about him being a mentor to Jungle Boy. Well, Jungle Boy eliminated Christian Cage at the Casino Battle Royal last year at Double or Nothing. And we were talking about that show this morning on Busted Open. We were talking about some of the best cards of all time. That was the first time that, you know, fans were actually back together again, you know, going through the pandemic. And Jungle Boy eliminated Christian Cage. So I think that's kind of probably when the animosity started to, to build to what we saw yeah. last week on Dynamite. Well, it's been going for over a year, like you said, Dave, and, and that makes a lot of sense. I, unfortunately, for him to let it be pent up and, and really uh, cloud his judgment for this long, it's, it's very unfortunate. But I'm really looking forward to hearing what Christian Cage has to say for himself after what he did to Jungle Boy last week. A uh, friendship that goes back, like you said, Dave, over a year, uh, and uh, that's, a, that's a great point that you made, Dave. And now, uh, in, in addition to that, looking back at Double or Nothing, you know, uh, over a year later, uh, you have to think that, yeah, that could be where it all started. And uh, it's, a, it's a very valid thought, Dave. And, and in addition to that, now as we approach Forbidden Door, uh, we've got a big title match on the card, the IWGP US Championship. You know, I was actually there as a fan five years ago uh, when the IWGP U.S. Championship was first established. It was almost exactly five years ago in Long Beach, California. And we mentioned Tomohiro Ishii. Now here he is again in the finals of another new championship being established. 
in the All Atlantic Championship, and that IWGP US title has gone on to be a very prestigious belt in pro wrestling. A lot of great champions, and a big match on the card this weekend with Will Ospreay defending the title against Orange Cassidy on Sunday at Forbidden Door. And tonight on Dynamite, a preview of that match and also something to look ahead to with the uh, three-way match, winner take all, for the IWGP World Tag Title and the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Title. Uh, We'll get a a little bit of a look tonight with Will Ospreay teaming with Aussie Open to take on uh, this, this unit. The United Empire have been fighting. They call it chaos in Japan. We've called them the best friends here. Uh, but tonight you've got Orange Cassidy teaming with Rapungi Vice, Tremperetta, and Rocky Romero, former IWGP U.S. Tag Team Champion, excuse me, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions themselves. And a uh, bit of a sneak preview of that U.S. title match, Osprey versus Orange Cassidy. The first time those two have ever been in the ring together tonight on Wednesday Night Dynamite on TBS. Nice. I I didn't know much about the Aussie Open, but I'm really really impressed by them. Of course, I know you know and really enjoy Will Osprey. Uh, it's going to be a great mix, and I really love what I'm seeing with Rapungi Vice because I knew all about them from New Japan, and I'm happy that they're getting love in AEW. And Rocky Romero's really stepped up because I thought he was going to kind of like step back behind, but I, I'm see like. When he's out there, his love of professional wrestling is really, really back, and he's firing on all cylinders. Uh, really enjoy seeing him. Yes, it, as have I, as have I. And uh, it'll be a great title match this weekend. Really excited for that. And tonight on Dynamite, uh, that's something to look forward to, to see Osprey and Orange in the ring together and two great tag teams surrounding them with Rapungi Vice and Aussie Open. Uh, and also... Speaking of title matches on Sunday at Forbidden Door and seeing one of the challengers in action tonight, very excited to have the number one contender to the AEW Women's World Championship, Tony Storm, getting a big match ahead of her title fight with Marina Shafir versus Tony Storm tonight on Dynamite. We saw Marina came after Thunder Rosa, the champion, after the bell, and it was Tony Storm who came to help the champ. And now uh, Marina wants to settle the score with Tony. And I think Tony, is, as I said, was trying to solve the problem before her big title fight. And uh, people are excited for that match. I know the Thunderstorm match, as, as we put on the posters, Thunder Rosa versus Tony Storm, your guy's co-host on this show is the AEW Women's World Champion. She's been through some very tough matches, but I think this is the toughest Test toughest opponent yet for Thunder Rosa. Now you know who I'm rooting for. You know there was a lot of bad blood between me and Thunder for a long time, but we're besties now. I can't wait for that matchup on Sunday, Tony. <laughs> me too. It's going to be a great matchup, and I think tonight really excited to see what Marina Shafir can do now with Tony Storm, uh, who is a great pro wrestler, and uh, that's a tough test for Tony with Marina tonight on Dynamite. So it's a a lot of exciting things on tonight's show. Uh, I'm fired up going into Forbidden Door, and uh, we'll, we'll have a bit more to announce about tonight's show, and we'll have a lot more to announce about the Forbidden Door card. It's just a huge week for AEW with our show tonight here in Milwaukee, uh, AEW Dynamite, and then a big AEW Rampage on Friday. That's going to be followed on Friday night. We're in our classic late-night spot, 10 p.m., Eastern, 9 Central, and right after the show, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Central, you'll get the countdown to Forbidden Door. And those videos, those great previews, those packages, all the exciting stuff leading into a pay-per-view that our fans enjoy. And you'll get a closer look at a lot of these stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling on that countdown show. We'll go in-depth and introduce you even more than uh, you may already be familiar as a hardcore fan with some of these great New Japan pro wrestlers and the top stars of AEW who are going to be fighting them on Sunday. Well, definitely check that out. As you mentioned, 8 p.m. Eastern time tonight on 
TBS. We have AEW Dynamite Rampage coming up on Friday night, as Tony says, at its regularly scheduled time at 10 p.m. Eastern time on TNT. And, of course, Forbidden Door coming up this Sunday. And, you know, Tony, I wanted to ask you something kind of in relation to what we're going to see on Sunday with Forbidden Door. Tommy and I talked a lot about uh, the greatest cards of all time, and we shared those moments with the nation. Um, Was there one card for you in particular that kind of motivated you to want to be a part of this business? I mean, what was that one card for you? Um, it's a great question. I watched a lot of wrestling, and I found that just getting a little bite of pro wrestling, I'd want more and more and more. So the first shows I really watched, I saw some Saturday night's main event shows. Uh, the pay-per-views I really watched live would be like at the end of 90 and the beginning of 91, uh, Royal Rumble 91 and WrestleMania 7. And then I wanted to watch more wrestling. I saw in the satellite guide that was wrestling all over the world, and I was kind of nervous to check other stuff out, and I'm so glad I did. Uh, I watched WCW that year when I was 8 years old, and Super Bowl 1 had some great matches, and in particular, the stars from New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's the first time I learned about New Japan Pro Wrestling, about the International Wrestling Grand Prix, the IWGP, and the championships they established, and uh, learned about the Steiners having been IWGP Tag Team Champions, and first saw Tatsumi Fujinami. So uh, I guess that would be one of the cards. For me, it was the first time I'd seen any wrestling outside the WWF. So Super Bowl One was a great show, the Steiners versus Lex and Sting, and it showed me that there was more out there in the world of pro wrestling. And I'm so glad I watched that show in particular. But I'd already gotten really hooked on wrestling by then, and I was I was going to try to find anything I could. So it was one of those things. I think I watched a few matches, and then I watched a few more. And soon it was all I wanted to watch every day, all week, every week. <laughs> Just like all Welcome of Welcome to time. my existence. Um, <laughs> and we said it before, like, with it used to be a joke like you know Gorilla Monsoon, Jesse Ventura, or or Bobby Heenan. Oh, this is gonna could be the greatest pay per view of all time. Uh, in AEW, you continue to follow up and better the the pay per views the the very next one. It's not a hard job to do because of the athletes that you have and Tony Brain controlling it, but. Like this forbidden door, man, has it, it's like the ultimate dream card. And have you first, have you had any difficulties uh, putting it together? Or like, are, is there one thing like you could just say, I'm making this match happen? Like, is, is it Moxley Tanahashi? Yeah. Well, I think when CM Punk got injured, that was a very obvious match to go to because Moxley versus Tanahashi is a dream match the fans have been calling for years. And I think Tanahashi him coming here he's one of the world's greatest wrestlers and we were really excited for cm punk versus tanahashi and frankly i had a lot of plans leading into it and i think that would have been great and the tv was was ready to go we had great matches planned for the weeks leading into forbidden door and a lot of it uh involved cm punk and there are a number of other stars who are injured and have not been around but i think we have such a great roster of wrestlers i'm constantly looking to bring new stars in stars from New Japan, but also new stars to come to AEW permanently. So uh, there have been changes tonight. You're going to learn more about the card. I think tonight's show is a great show for wrestling fans to check out. Even if you don't watch New Japan, and even for the fans who are kind of closed-minded about New Japan, frankly, I think tonight's a good show to check out on Dynamite. We're going into blood and guts next week. And and like I said earlier, you know, sometimes if you open your mind – just checking out some of these different wrestlers, you're going to see there's so many top stars there, and, and whether they're from Japan or other countries overseas, just a lot of great wrestling stars, a lot of great wrestlers in New Japan. And for us going forward, uh, we're going to have new talent coming into AEW too. Wow. And, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of challenges in planning and I think injuries on our side. Also logistics, you know. Some of the top stars in New Japan have not been here yet. One thing I have to say is tonight on Dynamite, you will see more wrestlers, more involvement from New Japan than we've seen so far. We'll see more of them. And 
some of the stars we haven't seen yet. I'm excited well, that- for Dynamite tonight. And thank you guys for having me on to preview that show in Forbidden Door. I can't can't wait for Dynamite tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. And, of course, Forbidden Door available on pay-per-view and BR Live. Tony, as always, thank you so much for the time. Thank you so much for the time. Thanks for having me on. You got it. As always, thanks for listening right here on Busted Over.